I'm a little stressed out about it. It's like 12, 12 30, maybe. And normally Annabelle goes down for a nap at noon, but she was playing super nice. She wasn't cranky or anything, so decided to keep her up a little bit longer. So then she can maybe sleep a little bit later, and then there's less time between her last nap and bedtime. Because I think that would help, but. Yesterday also I kept her up for a while before bed, just wrapped up and laying down, so she was like, kind of calming down. She does not like this whole eating thing today. But, so I'm going to try to do that again because she slept really well last night. She slept from like 10 until 3 or 4, and then woke up again at like 6.45 went back to bed and woke up at like 8 maybe. So that was nice. But I have just been getting my room back in order, kind of reorganizing things. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of half-empty stuff and I can't deal with it. So that's what's happening. But because my room is right next to Annabelle's, I'll probably wait till she wakes up from her nap to keep cleaning. Just so it's not loud and knocking on the wall and all that because I feel like that will keep her up. So, but she's eating good right now, which is nice because I don't, she still has not been eating the best. Like, she'll definitely eat enough. It just takes a while to get her to actually, like, eat for a longer period of time. But it's Saturday, just in case you all were wondering, and we're just hanging out today for the most part. And then, obviously, doing some cleaning, like I said, and picking up things. And it is beautiful outside. It's like, it's probably like 30 degrees, but it's so nice out because of the sun. Which in Minnesota, like, if it's 30 degrees, it's 30 degrees and you feel it. But here, it's a little bit nicer. Anyway, she's getting a little squirmy and fussy, so I'm gonna try to feed her without all the extra commotion. We are changing Annabelle's diaper. She woke up from a nap not too long ago, probably like half an hour, maybe an hour ago. And she's been a little fussy since then. Hasn't, well, I guess she ate pretty well, but hasn't eaten a ton since then. But I've been looking up all the things that I'm gonna need to bring for her when we go to Minnesota in a little over a week because I'm a little stressed out about it. 
and I'll try to get most of that experience on video so y'all can see <laughs> how crazy it may or may not be but as of right now I'm kind of nervous about it um the cheapest flight that there was well the two cheapest flights that there were um were both at really bad times but the next the only time that there was that would be a decent time to fly was like a hundred and fifty dollars more and for a flight that's only to something I was not about to pay that much extra so I'm hoping it'll be fine we take off from Flagstaff at Five, around 5.45, and then from Phoenix, we fly from Flag to the Staff to Phoenix, and we take off from Phoenix at around 7.50. So, hopefully, everything will be good. Um, yeah, all I am worried about is getting the car seat back in time. I'm not convinced that, because there's an hour layover, only an hour layover, um, in, when we go to Phoenix, and so I'm not convinced that they will get, I mean, they should have everything transferred over, but it makes me nervous, because if I don't have a car seat, I'm kind of screwed, because my grandma's picking me up, I believe. My grandma's picking us up from the airport, which we land at, like, midnight, and she doesn't have Annabelle's hitting the tripod, but she doesn't have a car seat. Um, the only one that does have a car seat is Caleb's aunt, but I already told her that I didn't want to use that because it'd be a lot easier to just bring Annabelle's stuff so then I can bring it into the airport have her in it until I check all the bags and stuff and then I can just wrap her up with me um but I don't know we'll see it should be fine I'm not too worried about it it just it's a little stressful I guess um just because I've never done it before but we'll be pros at it by the time we move back to Minnesota, because we'll probably be traveling back and forth quite a bit. Hello. Go like this. Go pick up the booty. Pick it up. Pick these up. Go like this. And pick that up. And go like this. Hi, my beautiful baby. You're the cutest baby of all. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. <laughs> go like this, and go boop, and go... No, another leggy! I got the leggy! Go boop, 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 Hi. Hi, happy baby. Well, hap, hi, hap, not angry, baby. Is that better? Yeah, you're not angry. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Bless the barbish. How do we do this? We got to go to, oh, there's how we do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. Beautiful. Hi. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi. Good night.